Hi guys, welcome back to Stitchity Doodle. This is my first Daiso haul video. Now, if you're not familiar with Daiso, it is a Japanese version of our American dollar stores, such as Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and the 99 cent store. Their base price is $1.75. Just like the 99 cent store, their base price is 99 cents, or the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar quarter. Well, Daiso, it's $1.75. It used to be $1.50, but as you know, prices have been increasing, so now it's $1.75. And just like the Dollar General, they do have higher ticket price items in their store. If they have a yen amount on there, then they have a conversion chart that you can check out and see how much it converts into uh, American dollars for you. That's what Daiso is, but they carry Japanese products. And I love shopping there because I feel like they have higher quality items for comparable prices. And um, I can find a lot of home organization as well as stationery and most importantly, craft supplies. So let's dig in. I've got my bag here. And this is, um, this is my Hawaii bag that my mom gave me. Let me take out some stuff. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this. And this is like a cardboard organizer that, um, and here's a picture of it, that I intend to use um, either on my desk or uh, in my craft cart. And I have yet to do that um, hashtag, by the way. But I can put things like my crochet hooks or my scissors um stitch markers things of that nature so i have a lot of like small things that get lost in my uh my craft cart that i'm hoping to get organized with this and this was 200 yen my next item is for my uh not amigurumi doll well i could use it for amigurumi dolls but for my sewing dolls and that's this felt and it's this large, however large that is, 70 centimeters by 60 centimeters, and this is dark brown. I used to have a dark brown, and I was trying to make a sewing doll, but um, it didn't quite come out, and so I'm kind of bummed. I don't have that color brown anymore, and this, I think, is the closest color that I could find, and it's a it's a good quality. It's it's kind of thin, but it's dense. It's not, it's not as holy as like some of the acrylic felt pieces that you can find in our American uh, craft stores. I find that their felt is of higher quality. Um, they're thin, but denser, if that makes sense. Because sometimes when you put up um, the American acrylic felt pieces, you can kind of see and it's, it's not consistent throughout. And I feel like the Japanese ones are. I don't know what they do, but they've got, they've got the magic touch or process of um, making these. But this is, it says it's 100% polyester as opposed to acrylic. So maybe that's the difference, but I love the color. And because I wanted to make it, use this for my dolls, I wanted a larger piece. Now they do come in smaller, smaller pieces. I didn't get them all, although I wanted to, but these are the ones that I got. Can you see them all? So I've got, oh, hang on. I've got six. I've got six variety packs. Now here's the pinks and reds. And these are seven by seven inch square and there's five pieces. And again, it's the same quality like I, how I described with this larger one. Super, super nice. And this one is, there's no price for this. So this is actually $1.75. So any of your Daiso items that you find in the store that doesn't have a yen amount on there, it um, defaults to $1.75. So this is a pretty good price for five pieces and a higher quality um, felt. I'm super happy. So this is the reds and pinks. This is the orange and yellows. 
variety of greens, purples, blues, and blue greens, I guess. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them green and I wouldn't call them blue, but they're blue green, teals, turquoises. So that's that. And I'm super happy and in love with those felt. Now I did find some yarns and you wouldn't typically think of these yarns for amigurumi making. However, I try to think outside of the box and the type of yarns that you think of for amigurumi making are the usually the, the vanilla yarns. They're very plain, very simple, no texture whatsoever. It's just vanilla yarn. Now these typically you want to avoid for avoid um, for amigurumi making because of the texture. But I'm not going to be using these for amigurumi um, bodies. I'm going to be using these for their hair, specifically for their um, texture. And that's what I love about it. So I showed to you my dolls uh, last week. This is a new doll that I made while I was on the road, which is another reason why you should have a project bag for on the go when you're traveling because you can crank out things like this. And I did this while traveling. And um, I talked about these dolls um, and their patterns and all of that stuff in my last video, which I will link here. Um, but yeah, I I will use these types of yarns for these types of dolls for their hair because I like the texture. So I got it in this color and also black and gray. They'll either be salt and pepper or <laughs> gray. I also want to experiment with these types of yarns. They're kind of thin and they're fuzzy for um, the hair again. I want to try these for the hair. Um, they will be kind of Velcro-y, I think, kind of like the chenille or the boucle yarn that I used on my last doll. Again, I will have it linked up there. Um, linked up there. Even though they may stick to themselves for hair, I still want to try it for my uh, little mini amigurumi doll hairs. So that's what I got these for. I also found some embellishments that I can use for my um, amigurumis and this is one of them. But this one I did use on one of my other projects already. And then uh, these flowers. Now, these types of things you can easily find in your uh, local craft store as well. Not just Daiso, but these do not have prices on them. So they are $1.75 each. I forgot to mention the price on these yarns. Yeah, these do not have prices on them. So each of these, $1.75 as well. And $1.75 each. Yep, no price. Oh, and this felt does not have a price on it either. So funny thing is you get 27.6 um, inch by 23.6 inch rectangle of felt for the same price as you do for one of these packs, $1.75 and $1.75. So, but because I know I want to use a lot of this color, I, I got a big thing of it. And then I wanted to kind of just play with colors. So I bought the smaller pack where I can get as many colors as possible. Then I got some stationery just because I thought it was super cute. So you can find a lot of super cute stationery there. They have all kinds of things. They have like, um, oh, and I also love going there for my kitchen things. I love kitchen tools. I'm a sucker for kitchen tools. I have it everywhere. All of my drawers are filled with them. <laughs> and Daiso is one of my favorite places to go for them. But stationary also. And I got this. 
Toy Story. And look at, they're so super cute. I love um, the colors and I love the, the drawings on them. So $1.75 for this. Yep, no price, so $1.75. Then I found something um, that I wanted to try for my uh, craft rolling cart. That's what um, I'm hoping to use this for. So it's got like a slim clip. I'm hoping it fits. It's semi-clear and small little things. Again, I can use this for small things like needles or stitch markers or whatever else I keep in my, um, my craft card. So that's my intention for this. And then I got some, um, some craft supplies. So they have all different kinds of craft supplies for sewing, crochet, knitting, um, needle felting, all kinds of stuff. But this past trip, I went for these. And this is like some darning or embroidery needles. These have some really nice big eyes that I can thread my yarn or ribbon in. And they look a little sharp. So I like to use various different needles in my amigurumi making. I use, but they all have the common thing of a, a large eye. So I like to use thicker ones with blunt tips. I like to use uh, thinner ones with a blunt tip. And I like to use thinner ones with a sharp tip for weaving in um, my ends through, especially loveys where I have a larger stitch and I need to go through the yarn as opposed to through the stitch. So I have all kinds of needles that I like to use for my amigurumi making. Then, so my number one choice of crochet hooks is the um, Clover Amore crochet hooks. And Daiso has their own, which looks very similar, but the Clover Amore set that I have does not include a three millimeter. And this is a three millimeter crochet hook. So not only can I try out their crochet hook to see if I like it or not, but I also get a size that I don't have in my arsenal. So super happy, $1.75. I mean, I can't walk away from it, right? Would you? <laughs> I have multiple sizes of the Clover Pom Pom Maker, but this one I couldn't pass up because it's $1.75. And not only is it a pom-pom maker, um, but it's also a tassel maker. So it's a tassel slash pom-pom maker all in one. So it has these pictures and it shows you how to use it in the back. And I'm super excited because sometimes I have trouble with my clover pom-pom makers, but I, I recently realized what I was doing wrong. So. Um, one day I hope to share that with you, but um, yeah, I wanted to try this. It's $1.75. Why not? So that's it for my Daiso haul. I'm super happy with everything that I got and every time that I go traveling, I will go to one or more of these Daisos and just go on a shopping spree. <laughs> Because it's a dollar seventy five for the most part. I mean every now and then you'll you'll encounter something that's more expensive, but for me, um, I go for the cheap stuff. Um, so yeah, especially like these craft supplies, usually, most likely they will be $1.75. So I hope uh, you check out your nearest Daiso if you happen to live in an area where there is one. Uh, you can Google it, um, just type in Daiso Japan and you'll find all the the places that are nearest you. Now, I noticed that they're only in certain states, not very many, maybe like a handful of them, but if you're lucky enough to live in one of those states, go ahead, have a ball, um, go craft supply shopping. You won't regret it, I promise you. So until next video, have a fun crafty week. See ya, bye.